Hi guys, I'm Yulia and welcome back to my channel in case you are new here. Today's video is going to be a bit more sentimental. Why oh, I'm saying this? Because lately I've been going through a rough time and uh, I didn't know what to film for this channel because it didn't feel right for me to teach you how to get a job in architecture when I actually quit mine. So if you're wondering why, then keep on watching. Also, I have some news that I would like to share with you and I'm really really excited about this. I have opened my own Etsy shop with prints because I absolutely hate empty walls. So I decided to create my own prints and to make your home look a bit better. And I think that these prints are really cute and they could bring a great set to your home. If you like the prints and you would like to support me, you can go to my Etsy account and have a look at all of them. I will link it here and down below so you can check it out. Let me know what you think and if you have any suggestions let me know because I would love 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 to hear your opinion and what you think about them. And now let's get back to the video. So first of all my job didn't feel right. Have you ever felt like that? Probably you did, because I think everyone goes through periods like this and through things like this and this is just part of the life. But you know, I was talking to my former colleagues and everyone was kind of enjoying it, they had a good time. I cannot say that I didn't have a good time and my job was bad or anything like that, but it wasn't perfect, you know, like I had better expectation and I felt like my heart wasn't in the right place. Second of all, I felt a really strong urge to do something else. I've been into doing animations and into video editing and like coming up with stories and ideas for movies and photography and I've been really really into this and one day I was just thinking, hmm, if I had as much passion for architecture as I have for these two, I think that I would be in a different place right now and I think I was kind of right. Well, you know, in architecture, for example, I've never ever done anything else or anything more than it was requested or required in university. On the other hand, when it comes to doing animations and video editing, I can spend hours and hours and hours working on them and I don't even realize how time passes by. I spend my Saturday nights editing, it's like 10 o'clock in the evening and I don't care because I'm really enjoying it and um, I'm I like the process and everything that comes with it, so it wasn't the same with architecture and I think that's a trigger for me and for you if you're feeling the same or if you're going through the same thing. So basically I've decided to give it a try and it's so hard to switch professions and I would really really love to hear from you if you went through something like this. Uh, then let me know in the comments down below because I really really need your help and I would love to hear your stories and how you moved from one career to another, how was the process and how you dealt with everything. The third thing that I would like to talk about is, is college or university still worth it in 2018? Do you feel like you have to stick to a certain career if you have a diploma in a certain field? I feel like, especially if you're in the creative field, experience is more important than education, to be honest. Because if you're going to university, I don't know how much they can teach you. They can tell you a few things, but all your knowledge will come through practice. And practice, I think, is the key to becoming really, really good in a creative field. Everyone has a diploma in 2018, but it doesn't make us any more special if we have one, right? The fourth and the last thing that I would like to talk to you about today is happiness. The idea is that this is what I've been trying to do in the past few months, is to find myself and to find what actually makes me happy. Even though during this journey of fun, finding myself, I think I had more downs and ups and I was feeling bad and I wasn't quite that happy, but at least now I feel like I'm reaching the end of the process and I'm feeling better and happier and I have more confidence in what I want to do and how I want to do it. Something that I've realized is that the idea of a 9 to 5 job is not ideal for me. Uh, and I realized 
that sooner or later I will do something on my own and I will realize something on my own. But something else that I've realized during this period and I'm just sharing it with you, maybe you don't have to go through this as I did, but I think that this journey of fun finding yourself is extremely important for every single one of us and for some of us it can take longer than for others for me it took me a few months and I still feel like I have to find myself and I'm not really in the right place but I'm getting there but what this past few months taught me is that succeeding on your own at the beginning is hard or almost impossible because you don't have that experience and no one will want to hire you and Quite often, gaining this experience is through having a 9 to 5 job or freelancing, but it's quite impossible to freelance when um, you don't know many things and no one wants to hire you. The idea is, and I would like to end it here, is to pursue what makes us happy and not feel constrained or feel bad because we do not match today's requirements and society's requirements and we don't fit with the mundane daily routine that we see that it's happening everywhere around us. For some people this kind of schedule and having a mundane routine and going to work and coming home and cooking and la 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 la, the normal mundane routine works just fine. But if you're like me, you will realize that there is more to life than that. And even if it's hard, you should give yourself a chance. Feeling lost, having no money, um, society, people around you are making you feel bad because you don't have a label that tells you what you're good at. Uh, everything, all of these things are overwhelming and it's tiring. We don't need a label, we don't need anyone to tell us what we're good at. I think that we only have to follow our passion and follow our heart and just find out what makes us happy and fulfilled and um, that's the most important thing at the end of the day and all of these steps are going to be part of us becoming something really big. I hope you enjoyed today's video and uh, if you are going through something similar please let me know in the comments down below and if you switch from one career to another I would love to hear your story so let me know in the comments down below because I really need inspiration at the moment. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time! <laughs>